Greetings Internet! Those of you who have been a subscriber to me for a while may remember a couple of years ago I made a video titled My Living Room. There's cards somewhere or links down in the doobly-doo if you haven't seen it. But in that video I basically just showed you around my living room and talked about my plans for reorganisation and redecoration. And that basically that was the before video. And now, two years later, it's safe to say that I'm pretty much done with that project and now it's time for the after video. So let me grab you and we'll go on a bit of a tour. So we have things such as new sofas, new carpet, new curtains, The same bookcase as I had before, but repainted and reorganised. I've got rid of a quite a lot of clutter and stuff in places, but mostly that's because I just started storing them in other places, such as uh, this side room here, which isn't good for much else. I decided to keep the old coffee table because you know it still matches and is functional and looks all right and witness what I have to do to get a tripod to equal my own height and then of course there's all my DVD shelves which again if you've been a subscriber for a while you may remember the time lapse of those being built and if you don't again there's a video card there or a link down in the doobly-doo it's a bit gloomy over there in the corner, so perhaps I should turn on my fancy new smart lights. A bunch of Star Wars Lego, some old space classics, and my Avengers collection, which I'm still working on. Steam controller, PC for games on the big screen. And also a plant, which is probably nearly a year old at this point, and to be honest, I'm kind of surprised it's still alive. And you know, to be honest, I thought that tour was going to take a bit longer than it just did, but really, they're the highlights of the room and there's not much more else to see. The previous video was longer, but that's because I spent a lot of time complaining about stuff that was in the way and stuff, all of which has been moved out somewhere else now, out of sight, out of mind. So yeah, it's a lot more comfortable and less cluttered now. The clutter's just all in the bedroom now instead. And what have I learned from all of this? Basically that I'm not really a big fan of DIY. That's one of the reasons that it's taken two years to finish. Although after the original video, it was a, f it was a few months before I actually started in earnest. As you may remember seeing the background slowly disappear from some of my older videos. Because that's when I was doing all the sorting and moving of stuff before I'd started on the actual redecoration. But generally I have found that the ratio of effort to reward just isn't worth it in my book. And if I hadn't had various big pushes of help from my parents on the odd weekends over the last couple of years, I'd probably still be working on it because I just never had the motivation to really get to it. But now it's mostly complete at least and I don't have to worry about it anymore. At some point in the future, I will probably put some kind of art thing on this back wall, but that will be a separate video project for some time later in the year. What are your thoughts on DIY? Fan? Not fan? Don't care? Tell me about it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you again next time.